Spice and Wolf, Volume 7 Side Colors by Asuna Hasakura. This volume of Spice and Wolf deviates from the main storyline and offers three self-contained stories that delve deeper into the relationship between the traveling merchant, Lawrence, and the wise wolf, Holo, while also exploring Holo's enigmatic past. The Boy and the Girl and the White Flowers. Class is a young boy forced to work as a servant in a nobleman's mansion. He finds himself unexpectedly traveling with Arias, a sheltered girl with an innocent ignorance of the world after they are both expelled from the mansion. Their journey towards the sea is filled with Arias's childlike wonder at the simplest things and Class's patient explanations, forming a unique bond between them. One cold night, they are attacked by wolves but are saved by a mysterious figure, Hollow, in her wolf form. Hollow, intrigued by the pair, joins their journey. She reveals Ares' true identity as the daughter of the deceased nobleman who was searching for an immortality elixir. Ares possesses a valuable gem gifted by her father, which could ensure their survival. However, Holo warns them of the danger they face from the nobleman's younger brother, who now seeks to eliminate Ares as a potential heir. As they flee through a dense forest, they are confronted by a powerful stag, the master of the forest. Hollow sacrifices herself to distract the stag, allowing Class and Ares to escape. Devastated, Class believes Hollow to be dead, but is later reunited with her, discovering that the ordeal was a staged performance to test his courage and solidify his bond with Ares. The story concludes with the trio embarking on their journey, with Class determined to protect Ares and a deeper understanding blooming between them. The red of the apple, the blue of the sky, Hollow's insatiable appetite leads her to devour an exorbitant number of apples, prompting Lawrence to gently tease her and suggest alternative ways to enjoy the fruit. Their journey takes them to a money changer, Wheeze, who is smitten with Holo and attempts to woo her with flowery words. Holo, amused by the attention, plays along, leaving Lawrence feeling like a jealous outsider. Eventually, they move on to purchase clothing for their travels north. Holo's preference for finer garments clashes with Lawrence's practical approach, leading to a lighthearted argument and a display of Holo's shrewd bargaining skills. Wolf and Amber Melancholy After collapsing during a celebratory dinner with Lawrence and a shepherdess named Nora, Holo wakes up feeling weak and ashamed of her display of vulnerability. Lawrence, concerned for Holo's well-being, diligently researches remedies and cares for her, he prepares special meals based on his newfound knowledge of medicine, while Holo enjoys the attention and secretly revels in his devotion. However, tension arises when Lawrence mentions Nora, triggering Holo's jealousy and insecurities. Through Holo's internal monologue, we glimpse her vulnerability and fear of losing Lawrence's affection. She reflects on her long life and the loneliness she endured before meeting him. The story culminates with Holo admitting her mistake and expressing her gratitude for Lawrence's care, while also acknowledging the complex emotions that their unique bond evokes.